Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Woods versus James. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Woods, you say your dream of becoming a father came true when the defendant gave birth to your one-year-old daughter, Addison. But that dream became a nightmare when months after you became a daddy and signed the birth certificate, the defendant dropped a bomb and said you are not her father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You are here to prove that Addison is your biological daughter. Ms. James, you admit that Mr. Woods was at the birth and believed he was Addison's father, but you are now in court to prove that she is not biologically his. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Woods, why are you convinced you are Addison's father? The time Addison was conceived, me and Aubrey slept together. Um, I was... Deep down in my heart, I feel like she's my daughter. I mean, if she's not, it's gonna break my heart. I mean, I've been through everything. I love this girl to death. Like, for the past year, I've been there. So, for the past year, you've been there. Yes, ma'am. And you are certain you slept with Ms. James during the window of conception. Yes, ma'am. And I can see from this video in the monitor that she means the world to you. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about the bond you've established with Addison. Um, it's unexplainable. That's all I can say. You really don't have words. Can't explain it. And, Ms. James, why are you so upset in this moment? Um, because I know Cody is a good dad to Addison, but I'm here today to tell them that he is not the father, and I did tell him this before. So, it even hurts you because you know the bond they have established. You know how much Mr. Woods loves Addison. Yes, Your Honor. And you can see she loves him. Yes, Your Honor. But you're saying you have to come here to tell the truth. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Woods, tell me about your relationship with Ms. James. What was the nature of your relationship? We met through some friends a while back. Um, she was in a relationship with her ex at the time, and I didn't want to mess, with, mess up things with her and her ex. And we were just good friends. And then we had a Valentine's Day party, and um, I seen her there, and she, started, she was crying. And I asked her what was wrong, and she said her and her ex got into a fight because he didn't want to come. So I spent like 30 minutes trying to cheer her up. And then we left and we had sex three times and she felt bad because she cheated on her boyfriend at the time. So we didn't talk about it. And then two months later I was at work and that's when she called me and said that she was pregnant and that was the father. Wow. So Ms. James? Yes, Your Honor. Did you use protection? No. So when you found out you were pregnant, you immediately called Mr. Woods? Yes, but I told him that he was not the father, that it could be somebody else. You did. Mr. Woods, that's not what your testimony was. She did you not tell me that, Your Honor. She says she told you that it could she be somebody not. else. She did not. What did she say to you exactly? I was at work, and that's when she called me, and she said that she was pregnant, and that I was the father, and my heart instantly dropped my stomach, and I was happy. You were? Yes, ma'am. So you remember the joy you felt? Yes, Your Honor. And so you're saying you wouldn't have that joy if you weren't told you were not the father or a possible father. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. James, do you remember his response? Was he happy? Yes, Your Honor. And so from that point on, as you went to doctor's appointments and various things, was Mr. Woods there to accompany you? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Woods, you were there throughout the pregnancy? Yes, Your Honor. Did you also tell your boyfriend that you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. But you allowed Mr. Woods to go to all the doctor's appointments? Yes, because my, uh, he did not want anything to do when I told him that I was pregnant and it possibly could be his daughter. The other guy? Yes, Your Honor. He didn't want anything to do with the baby? No, yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Woods, you said you were excited. Once yes, Your you Honor. found out you were having a baby, uh, you started going to the doctor's appointments, what else did you do? Um, I was I, I started building a nursery and I spent many nights with her when she was sick, throwing up. Wow. And I, got, I went to work the next day, and it didn't bother me because, I mean, as long as she was taken care of and happy, that's all that mattered. So what happened with your relationship? At that time, did you all decide we're gonna be a couple? We're gonna be a... What, what happened? Four months after we got together, I got engaged to her. Um, you did? Yes, Ron. How did you... Did you ask her? Uh, 
Well, she, the only thing she could really keep down was chicken nuggets, so I took her to the restaurant, and I proposed to her with chicken nuggets, and I said, I'd be one happy nugget if you'd marry me. Oh. And when I gave her the ring and the chicken nuggets, I gave her a poster with it. Oh, that's cute. So you'd be one happy nugget if she would marry you. That's right. And you gave her the ring? That's right. And what did she say? She said yes. So, Ms. James, you said yes. Yes, Your Honor. For a while, I was believing that it could be his baby, but then I was going, had other doctor's appointments, and while he was there, they changed my conception date. Do you remember being told that, she Mr. Not Woods? Me, Your Honor. She never told you anything? No, ma'am. So, throughout this whole pregnancy, you're just moving on thinking, I have a fiance, I'm about to have a baby, we're about to get married, we're about to be a family. Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So take me to the day she gave birth to Addison. You were at the hospital? Yes, Your Honor. And I was rocking her to sleep and stuff because I did not want to leave her side or Aubrey's because she's in pain, so I stayed there the whole time. I caught off And did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor, I did. You did. So, Ms. James, if you had these doubts, why did you allow Mr. Woods to sign the birth certificate? Um, because he proposed to me and he knew that it was right to propose to someone if he wanted to take responsibility of the child. So you allowed him to sign the birth certificate because he had proposed to you? And because he said that he always wanted to be there rather if it was his child or not. Did you say that, Mr. Woods? No, I did not, Your Honor. So she never told you? No. That this not, child could possibly not be your biological child? Not till two months after she was born. Not until two months after <clears throat> Addison was born? Yes, Your Honor. What happened? Um, we, was together, we was living together at the time. We were still engaged. And, and we got to a big fight. And I walked outside, and she came out with me. And that's when she said that Addison may not be mine. That could be her ex. Why did you say, to him, say that to him in that moment, Ms. James? Um, because of, out of spite to get to him, and also because I've told him before that he wasn't the father, and I just wanted to reassure him that he knows that he's not the father. So we fixed, we tried to fix things, and it kept going downhill, so we just broke up, and I've been trying to be there for her and the baby ever since then. And you are the father figure to her in her life? Yes, Your Honor. When you look at her, do you have doubts or do you believe she is your biological child unequivocally? I believe she's mine and I've been there since day one. So, Ms. James, now that Mr. Woods is still taking an active part in <clears throat> Addison's life, how does that make you feel knowing what you believe you know? I am happy that she has a father figure, and he is a great dad to her, and she loves him. And so the other man, the man that really didn't want anything to do with her, that's the man you believe really is her biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Have you been in touch with him? No, Your Honor. He's never seen her? No, Your Honor. Never laid eyes on her? No, Your Honor. Never inquired about her? No, Your Honor. Wow. And I do not want Cody to pay child support. That's why I'm here. Well, we don't see that a lot, Your Honor. Mm -mm. So, I'd like to hear from your witness. Sir, please stand. State your name for the record. Aaron James. Aaron James, you are... Aubrey's brother. Aubrey's brother. Sir, what would you like to add to this? Um, I'd like to add that, um, you know, I... They both live with me. I've been around, you know, their relationship and seen Cody with Addison, and, you know, he is a great father to her. And... You know, I just really wanted to, you know, make it a point to him and Mr. Woods here that, you know, the, the child support can be devastating because I, you know, am in a position of that myself. And, you know, I would like to see my niece have, you know, a responsible good father in her life and, you know, have that father figure as, you know, anybody else would love to have in their life. Do you believe Mr. Woods is Addison's biological father? Um, I don't because I have no reason to not believe my sister, Your Honor. But you are a witness to the level of care 
and support Mr. Woods has given to this child. Correct. Wow, this is unfortunate. So, Mr. Woods, you say you don't agree with Ms. James's testimony that she was honest with you early on about there being another possibility. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. So the court did a little bit of digging because we wanted to see what the real story was. And in doing so, we uncovered some social media posts, the first of which is from Ms. James' account, Aubrey James, and it says, good morning from Daddy and Addie. And that's a picture of you, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. With Addison. Yes, Ms. Sure. James, did you post this? Yes, Your Honor. And you seem to acknowledge in this post that Mr. Woods is Addison's father. Yes, Your Honor. The next post we found, also from you, Ms. James says, man crush to my baby daddy and my fiance. You're a great daddy and fiance. Keep up the good work. We both love you so much, Cody Woods. You seem to again acknowledge in November 2016 that he's your fiance and Addison's father. Yes, Your Honor. So even though you say you have from the beginning said he may not be her biological father, it seems as if you were living and operating and holding out to the public that he is her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So why is that? Because Addison's person that I think that could be her father, that's not Cody, he does not want anything to do with Addison and still to this day does not want anything to do with Addison. So you're saying you admittedly made this up? Yes, Your Honor, because he is a very good father to her and I would like her to have a good father figure. Cody also said that he will still be there for Addison because he's been there for a year and she looks up to him as a father and he looks down to her as his daughter and they're both, he's very good to her. But I have one thing, Cody needs to also realize that he needs to take care of himself first before and get a job and a steady job to help raise Addison as he wishes and then he, we can become a civil family because of Addison. A civil family? Yes, Your Honor. I object, Your Honor. I have you steady, object? I have a steady job. I work five to six days a week. Oh, you're saying you do have a job? Yes, Your Honor. And when you say you're going to become a civil family, you mean you're going to try to be in a relationship with him for Addison's sake? No, Your Honor. What do you mean? Co-parent? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. And you do understand that because he's on her birth certificate, he is her legal father. Yes, Your Honor. So if he's not the biological father, are you going to seek to have his name removed from her birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor. You are? Yes. Did you know that, Mr. Woods? No, I didn't, Your Honor. Are you going to change her last name? She has his last name. Yes, Your Honor. I assume you were not aware of this either, Mr. Woods. No, I didn't, Your Honor. So, in just this moment, the stakes even got higher. It's time to get the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Woods versus James, when it comes to one-year-old Addison Woods, do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Woods, you... are not the father. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry for yeah. him and for you and for Addison. Jerome, will you please go and see if you can get Mr. Woods to return to the courtroom? Yes. 
and check on him, please. I will. I'm going to see if we can get Mr. Woods to return to court. Can you come back in? Let's finish the case. Yes, sir. God bless you, buddy. Mr. Woods, thank you for coming back in. I'm very sorry. I'm still going to be there. Ms. James, is there anything you want to say to Mr. Woods in this moment? I would still let you be in Addison's life and be there for her. This is extremely hard because this is, it's complex. Ms. James has expressed that she doesn't want you to be caught up in child support. So she wishes to inform the court that you are not her biological father. And she also says she'd like to take your last name from the baby so she would not have your last name as well. Are you still of the mind and heart that you can be there for this child even with those steps being taken? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. So we have counseling and resources for you both, and I want you to take advantage of it and talk to Dr. Jeff and figure out what your next steps are and most importantly, how you plan to raise this beautiful baby together. All right? Yes, sir. I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs>